Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to day four of my 20 day um, entrepreneur behind the laptop or confessions behind the laptop um, confessional. It's a 20 day thing. Um, I'm just inviting a few people right this moment. So if you just could give me just a second, I would just really, really appreciate that. Um, one second, I'm almost done. And if you're a replay viewer, bless your soul because I hate this part. This part always sucks. Okay, invited a few people. So, today is day four and I wanna to talk to you about how I let money run me. And, oh my goodness, I've got a booger in my nose. That was disgusting. Okay, <laughs> I could edit that out, but I'm not going to because that's real life. <laughs> oh, I apologize. <laughs> um, I'm like trying to figure this out without the sun in my eyes, so I'm really sorry. Um, my fiance and I are going hunting with our dog and that's why you see me with this big black shirt and you see me I'm in our truck and yeah and I'll and I'll show you I'll even show you and it's like big field um and we're about to go hunting so anyway it's nothing like keeping it real right boogers in my nose and everything so I mean fuck it okay so Day four, I let money run me, okay? And this, this is super embarrassing. I won't even lie. Like, I've, it is very embarrassing for me to tell you, okay? Um, it is, it's one of those things, right? Like, you, you get into this, you get into running and wanting a business. And we all obviously are like running a business because we want to make money. Does that make sense? Um, but here's the thing about it is at what point do we, what, at what point are we getting completely obsessed with our money and our income and are we not focusing on serving our people? Like at what point are we there? And I've got to tell you, I got there. Because I got really caught up with, I need to make, I need to make this amount of money and I need to, I need to keep up with the Joneses and I need to be this person and I need to, you know, I need to, you know, honestly, it was just about like kind of being this person. I wanted to live this lifestyle and I wanted to be able to do all of these things. And so I really kind of like lost track of why I got into this to begin with. Does that make sense? And it's embarrassing. Listen, this is not easy shit. Like, it's probably good I have my sunglasses on. Because <laughs> it's shielding me from, like, this massive, like, guilt, this embarrassment, and almost shame that I feel for this. Because, you know, I just, I don't really have too much to say. I'm going to say as much as I can to you. But I don't really have too much to say other than the money completely ran me for a long time. And, um... And it was never that I didn't give a fuck about my people. I totally gave a fuck. Like that, I don't ever not give a shit. I mean, you can ask, you can ask any one of my clients. You know, they, we talk on, I was just reading a testimonial about thanking me about how I, you know, call her on Sundays and I message her, you know, I message her just to let her know I'm thinking about her even when she's, um, you know, my, my client and, um, you know, when I go above and beyond and, um, so I, it's not that I don't give a shit. It was, it was just like, w as far as my content that I was putting out, the mindset around it was, what can I do to make money? How can I make a quick buck? Like, how can I make some money versus how can, you know, like, how can I, um, how can I serve? Like, how can I just show up and serve and be me? And clearly now that you see what I'm doing and you've, if you've been here, this is day four um, of 20. So if you're new, just tune in. Um, but like, this is how I can serve. And this is how I can show up and be truly me. And I'm not, 
there's no pitch. There's no pitch coming. I have no pitch. I have nothing. <laughs> there's nothing here to offer you other than just truly just this, like being real about it and just being true and just telling you look I let money run me and it caused a lot of fights between my fiance and I a lot of them a lot of really bad fights it caused um it caused me to be very angry very angry very angry for a very long time at the industry it caused me to be angry at coaches who made me feel like if I didn't have the money to work with them that I was less than that really fucking bothered me and I and I'm not like that I don't like that um I've completely changed my my services around to, you know, meeting people where they're at. I have something for everybody. Even if you can't, you know, even if all you can afford is a $100 investment, if you can't even afford a $100 investment, I actually have a program that's $77 and it's life-changing. It really is. And I even have a business plan for, I don't even know, what did I say? It's like 17 or 20 bucks or something like it's totally life changing, right? Like, and it's life changing when you remember and you figure out that you, you know, you're human and your people are human. And like, just because like you, just because like they can't meet you where you're at doesn't like, just because they don't have the money to pay you thousands of dollars right now doesn't make them less than. And just because you don't have the money to pay at coaches right now, thousands of dollars, that doesn't make you less than either. And you, and please know that. And and wait until you find somebody that you you know is a perfect fit and that you can afford and maybe it is you know buying programs i know for me that you know um i i have to buy you know i don't have to but i choose to buy you know smaller items before i'm going to buy a bigger item to make sure the person is in, is even in my world but you know and i'm not blinded by their fucking brand <laughs> that's something that i do um so anyways to wrap this up to wrap this confession up is to tell you this don't be blinded by money okay don't be blinded by people trying to make you feel bad about um you know not having thousands and thousands of dollars to sign up with them you're not less than i do believe that you should be investing in yourself at some capacity even listen even if it's fucking investing in books and audios and really nurturing your mind that way that's fine. Do something, okay? And don't complain about it. Just do something. Like I, there's one thing in this whole world I hate is complainers who just sit on their ass and they don't do anything. Get off your ass. Do something. But that can be the investment. If that's all you can afford right now, let that be your investment. Um, but, you know, when you're ready to step up, make sure it's a perfect fit, you know? And, and when you begin in your business or if you are in your business, just understand that you're out to serve human beings. And everyone's human and you're just as fucking human as them all. And it doesn't matter if you made a $10,000 a month or a $100,000 a day or a million dollar a day. Like, you're still a fucking human. And you need to remember that so that you can... You need to remember who you are so that you can just serve people in a capacity that makes them want to continue to, like, hang up, hang out with you. Does that make sense? Hi, Sarah. So, my yellow lab, if you can't hear her... She is like freaking out and ready to go hunting. So we're going to be, um, we're going to be going hunting now. So if you're just catching in, watch the replay, forgive like the booger in my nose, <laughs> forgive, um, everything that, um, that, that happened today that was a little inauthentic which was that <laughs> well it's totally authentic I meant totally unprofessional and um I'll be back and I'm gonna be back around and keep me posted and let me know did you ever get into a situation where you let money run you let me know all right I gotta go I'm gonna go hunting now wish me luck bye